Well, I think if you, if you don't want it to be predictable, predictable suggests that the audience is predicting something. We're predicting something. Now, if they're predicting something, that means you're doing something right, which is that you are, your whole job as a dramatist is to create anticipation. The audience trying to figure out where you're going. And audiences will do that naturally. You will give them the clues as a screenwriter, uh, and they're going to try to figure out where this is going. That's our natural tendency. We have these big frontal lobes and we ruminate on things and we piece clues together. It makes us different from other type forms of life. And the thing that screenwriters should keep in mind, filmmakers should keep in mind, is that we as writers control, as filmmakers, we control the clues that they observe and that they will then use to anticipate. Okay, you you turn the audience into the smart, smartest people in the world. You turn them into keen observers of detail. That's your job as a filmmaker. They think they're the smartest people, but really you're giving them the clues, and the clues point to a certain outcome. And once you know that that's happening, and you can use your imagination and imagine that you're the audience discovering your story for the first time, that's when you can put a twist. Uh, because you'll know where they're expecting it to go. Uh, and then you can avoid <laughs> predictability that way because you can create anticipation for A <coughs> and then give someone a surprise twist and it turns out to be B. Uh, so in a broad sense, in the simplest sense, I guess, to avoid predictability is just to be aware of what the audience is anticipating. Uh, and that is just a, a skill you develop. And um, even the, let's say you're following all the patterns, like we talked about Psycho being a story that relied on a pattern. The pattern was in a Hollywood movie, the main star is alive through the whole movie. They may die in the end, but they're going to be alive until the end and just kill them off in the middle and see what happens. And so the shock value was not just somebody getting murdered, even though it was very graphic in its day, but it wasn't because somebody got murdered, it was because the main character got murdered. No. And that was uh, following a, a classic pattern, but then violating it, and then recovering in it by using different means to get us back into it. So, um, but I think ultimately predictability is uh, you can avoid it by understanding where the audience's mind is at whatever your point is in the script and defying what they're expecting and really telling two stories at the same time sometimes. The one they think they're seeing and the one they're really seeing. And then suddenly they get disillusioned into the one that they're um, actually seeing. And that, that's the surprise twist.